Hello everybody, Advance N64 here. Welcome to another episode of Pokemon Emerald. In the last episode, we made it to this little cave area. This is Meteor Falls right here, it says on the on that sign there. This is actually where that lady said that Professor Co uh, Cosmo went through. I'm gonna break this rock right here, because I see this little weird rock right here. Maybe it's got something in, uh, well, uh, in it. And I meant not the Pokemon, but it ended up being this dude here with the rock spas rock. Uh, um, let's get past this guy real quick. We can just bullet seed him. And that J dude's out of the way. Uh, we can go ahead and check this rock. Nothing in it. Oh, what a waste of time that was. But through here, we got Meteor Falls. One of my more favorite areas of all of Pokemon. This place is really neat. It, it's basically, uh, it reminds me a lot of Mount Moon, but the, the whole area looks a lot cooler to me. And also, there's lots of, like, little, like, um, craters like this one. Uh, like, around the whole area. I think the place just looks really cool, but also, the more we go over here, something's going on. Yay! With this meteorite, this earthling in the proximity will... I don't know who you are, but if you get in the way of Team Magma, don't expect any mercy. Okay, I guess we're fighting them. Oh, hold it right there, Team Magma! You're badly mistaken if you think you can have your way with the world. And, oh shoot, it's that guy from the... is uh, from the, uh, museum. Yeah, that's that's the word. <laughs> Even Team Aqua joins. Oh, that's oh no, that's Team Magma. Oh no, it's hard to tell the difference. <laughs> but it's all too much trouble to deal with you all. Eh, it doesn't matter. We've got the meteorites. Lots so about chimney we go. <laughs> Be seeing you, you te uh, Team Aqua Dingbats. And oh, I guess they just pushed me to the side. I could have stopped them. Didn't I see you before at Slayport's Museum? Ah, so your name's Peter. At this, at the time, I thought you were one of Team Magma's broods. Hmm. You're an odd kid. Team Magma's a dangerous group of total fanatics. Uh, they engage in, in destruction and claiming it to uh, expand the landmass. Uh, there are rivals to us, the sea-loving Italian uh, Aqua. Boss, we should get chased to Team Magma. Yes, yes. Uh, we must hurry. We got to hurry. Oh, uh, there's no telling uh, what uh, Team Ma Magma will do at Mount Chimney. Uh, Peter, you should keep an eye out for Team Magma too. Farewell. And they're uh, off they go. And we can just move on here. We don't even have to talk to this guy down here. It's completely optional, but... Oh, he does have something to say. Uh, we do have a Pokemon encounter here, and... Ooh, it's a Solrock. Uh, uh, Solrock is, um, I believe, uh, only exclusively found here in this area in Meteor Falls. Um, a really neat Pokemon. Of course, it's supposed to look like the sun. And also, if you're playing, um, I think it's Sapphire, but it, it could be Ruby. Um... You're, uh, there, uh, Solrock has a, uh, counterpart Pokemon, one, um, uh, one that looks like the moon, and that Pokemon would be Lunatone, oh, Lunatone. Uh, both Solrock and Lunatone are, uh, rock and psychic, it's just that one looks like the, uh, sun and one looks like the moon, I believe. Solrock has more attack and Lunatone has more defense, but I might be wrong on that. Uh, um, trying to think, what else? Um, so, Lunatone is more available to find in, uh, one, uh, in one version of the game, like I said, I believe it's Sapphire, while Solrock here is more available in Emerald and I believe Ruby. And we got that out of the way, we got Solrock. Very cool. Um, should give this guy a name, Meteorite. I uh, can't really think of too, uh, too much stuff for the sun, so, how about, you know what, I might spell this entirely wrong, but, uh, this guy had a lot of stuff to do <laughs> with the sun. If I can even spell it right, uh, I think I, I think that's a letter short. Uh, so he's gonna be Escort. Yes, I think that's perfect. Yes, I think Escort is perfect. Uh, that's my best attempt at that, and I'm not gonna try to fix it at all. And anyone who knows a little bit of it can probably try to piece together what I was trying to reference, but I don't care. <laughs> I'll go ask no more. I'm Gosmo, I'm a professor. See, Magma asked me to uh, uh, guide them to Meteor Falls, but they tricked me and they even took my meteorite away. And they took another similar bunch and, and oh no, and then uh, <laughs> they took Team Aqua too. <laughs> And then another similar bunch, Team Aqua showed up. After that, I don't understand any of it. But that Team Magma, what are they going to do with the meteorite about Chimney? And I don't know, but we're gonna go figure that out in just a second. We gotta zoom back right here. 
nothing too much that we're gonna really find in uh, this cave now. But we do see something right off to the right over there. You can see there's water going up that. That's indeed a waterfall. And waterfalls aren't too important to us right now because we have nothing that we can really do with uh, uh, with that. But maybe later uh, in the game we'll have ways of transversing through waterfalls. And also. We just picked up a moonstone. Very cool. If you remember the skitty that I got a little while back, you could actually use the moonstone to evolve that skitty into a delcaddy. Very cool. And, oh, we got this fighting guy right here. My stronger skill was, I don't know, because I didn't read it. We gotta go fight the chop. And, uh, alright, let's go ahead and take him down with this bullet seed. Jam's doing okay with that. Uh, you can even, uh, even with, uh, the little, uh, he did get hurt quite a bit. I think the Soul Rock was hurting him back a little back. And you impress me! Give me a rematch after I redo my training! And no, I don't think I do want to. Your name's Nob, and that's just weird. Let's go ahead and fight you. This beach is my secret training spot, so don't come butt in. And I decided to only do, uh, I decided to go out of my way just to butt in. But so let's go ahead and, and take care of you. And, oh, wow. Well, I know I got a critical hit, but I thought two bullet seeds was going to be able to get it down right there, but I guess I was wrong. Is it going to be Earthquake in there? Because we're on the beach. Yes, it is. All right, very cool. This might get the Bakuhita. And it did not, but we were close. Going for Arm Thrust. And I could have gone for Bullet Seed right there, but I don't uh, I don't want to keep pressing my luck. And I haven't trained enough. But just move on. Okay, fine. You're free to come here, but in turn, I'd like to battle you again. And we got Battle Girl Cindy in our uh, Pokedad. So many people in our Pokedad. We have uh, probably over like 20 people in our Pokedad at this point. Uh, got Break the Rocks right here. And we can go past here. There's uh, not too much over here except this little Great Ball. And I believe there's some berries right up ahead. And you can also use this little thing to skip against uh, across these guys. And um, you pretty much need Rock Smash at this point of the game to get, uh, go through anyway, so you're very likely to have Rock Smash when you get here. But I am going to show off what those two have. Um, I think we're suited for a double battle, but I'll go quickly check. Yeah, I believe I actually had Roshi just like up, uh, as my second Pokemon, so Roshi should be able to do that. I have a rare Pokemon, would you like me to show you? You disturb my meditation, uh, you'll be the Persona Sports. Uh, and we got a Psychic and a Collector. The student said he had a uh, um, Pokemon. Like, only a rare Pokemon, but he has two rare Pokemon. I forgot to talk about this Pokemon back when we were in uh, Route 114, because it didn't really cross my mind. But this is a Zangoose. Zangoose is pretty cool. Um, the best way I can describe it is that um, if you remember um, finding a Slack Off in Petalberg Woods, and that uh, that thing could uh, become a Vigoroth. Uh, Zangoose reminds me a lot of Vigoroth if it was just slightly better. It just never evolves. Zangoose is what you get when you get a Zangoose. It's never going to evolve, it's always going to be the same. And then going from Zangoose, he's going to have a Zaviper. Alright, and the main thing about uh, Zaviper and Zangoose is that Zaviper, um, like I said, you'd find a Zangoose in 114, but that's only if you're playing Pokemon Ruby. If you're playing uh, Pokemon Sapphire or Pokemon Emerald like we are, you're gonna find the Viper on that route instead. So Viper's not that bad of a Pokemon. It's just a, uh, just a poison type. It's kind of, uh, I was gonna say similar to Ekans of Ar Arbok, but it's mainly only like that because of it's a poison type. It's more just a really, uh, uh, it's a more of a decent attacker. It, I wouldn't say it's like really amazing for anything, per se, but uh, I wouldn't be bad. Oh, I keep using a uh, fake out with jam. I gotta not do that. Uh, um, let's go for uh, bullet seed on uh, many tight, and we'll take that uh, survivor out with uh, another ember. And okay, doing okay with the many tight. It's just annoying because they're just gonna be using detect a lot, and Roshi being paralyzed does not help that. Uh, let's go ahead and keep going for attack moves. And I need to do a good amount of damage there, but granted, we are really high level. Speaking on which, we got to level 28. Uh, very good. And Spoink right here. Very cool. Uh, we're actually getting to the point of the game where you can encounter Spoink in a little bit. It's a pretty unique uh, psychic type, but I'm personally not a huge fan of it. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of Spoink. Spoink's out of the way, and we won the Pokemon battle. We can go on ahead. And we got a decent amount of money. I haven't really checked how much we've gotten, but I should stock up in a little bit. Uh, um, right now, uh, if we go down this ledge, if you remember, 
This is Rustboro City. This is that little area I showed you up above here that we couldn't go around because these, these ledges were in the way. But the ledges right here were just so we can get down from Meteor Falls. So now that we are in Rustboro City, we have, um, well, we really only have one option because you may think that we can head down to Mr. Briny real quick and that he can set a sail to, uh, Dufert and then go to Pep, um, uh, Slateport City. Yes, I had to remember its name real quick, sorry. But, um, it actually, because he's still at Slateport City, because we never took the boat back, there's no one going to be waiting for us down there, so we have no way of getting to Slateport. Uh, so you might think we're trapped, but we do have one other way, and that's right over here. So we're going to go ahead and go through here. I might actually put on a repel real quick. Because I, uh, I don't really want to encounter all these low-level Pokemon. Let's see, we got a repel right here. Let's go ahead and put that on. And let's go running through here. We don't have to fight any of these guys again because we already fought them. Go through here, no problem. And we actually have another person over here, if you remember. Oh, it's you! You're that person who helped, not only helped me in Petalburg Woods, but also got back my stolen package. And then even graciously delivered it to Slayport. Captain Stern informed me that the package arrived too. I thank you very, very much. Why, if, it weren't, uh, if I were a rain cloud, I would shower you with gratitude and hail you as a hero. Well, thank you, but I'd rather if you didn't rain and hail on me as a rain cloud. That would sting. For you, the most wonderful trainer, I have good news. Recently, our company developed a new kind of Pokeball. As a token of our appreciation, this is our gift to our wonderful trainer. Trainer. And we got the Repeat Ball, a special Pokeball added in this generation. Our new Pokeball will be arriving at the Pokemon Mart in Rustboro. Please do try it out, and thank you again. If you use a Repeat Ball, it basically has a higher chance of catching uh, Pokemon that you've already caught before. So if you want to catch, uh, let's say, um, you'd only find a Wismer in here. So if you had, a, uh, if you want a cat on Wismer before and you used a Repeat Ball in again. Uh, to catch it, it would have a really good uh, catch rate. I believe it's higher than an Ultra Ball, so it's pretty good if you do want to catch a uh, same Pokemon that you've caught before. Wow, you shuttered that boulder blocking the way. To show you how much I appreciate it, I'd like you to have this HM. And for breaking this rock right in the way, you get the HM of 4 strength. And we have to get uh, do this regardless just to get pa uh, past to uh, back to move on to get to the 4th gem. So this is cool. If that most of your Pokemon were to learn that, it would be able to move every uh, even large boulders. Wanda, now I can see you anytime. That's wonderful. Please take some rest in my home. So, that dude has been supposedly digging out this entire tunnel. Like, this whole way. And, like, it's been, like, up all the way to this point, but he can't see his girlfriend over, like, two small rocks in the way. Like, there were not even the boulders. Like, the dude had strength and everything, but this these rocks were enough to stop him. Like, I, I just couldn't really get that. Uh, oh, Repel wore off, so we might get some Whismers, but more importantly, we do have this guy right down here. Um, we do have Jam in front, so we should be able to take care of this guy. He's just a hiker. So why don't they call a Pokemon the, uh, in the mountains a mountain? Pokemon. Uh, mainly because a lot of the mountain Pokemon are kind of in caves, I suppose. Um, yeah, because there are, there are places like I suppose like in like the second game in Mount Silver or like Mount Coronet in like uh, the fourth games. Um, there'd be like little uh, there'd be um, mountains with grass on them that you can counter Pokemon on the side of them. They also had caves that were mainly where most of the Pokemon were at. So, it's more all what I always think about whenever I think of a hiker. They always got cave Pokemon. My Pokemon ran out of power. And alright, luckily we got through that. And there is another little area over here that I don't think we've checked out yet, so let's go ahead and do that. Although I do want to make sure, because we are close to having a full inventory, especially since we just got that Moonstone. I'm gonna actually use this Carbos on the on my Deku over here, so that way we had a uh, full inventory just in case. We got to route oh, 116, I believe that's just the route over there where uh, Burn Tap Down is. But if we go up here, there's another item right here. It's an HP up, uh, and yeah, we can go ahead and use that right now. I think I'm actually gonna put it on Rex. I think that's a good idea for, uh, for him. And there we go. Could have also given it to Roshi, but I believe Roshi has a little bit more health at the moment. Oh, I dropped my glasses. Can you help me find them? 
and so now his, uh, you can actually help this dude out. He has his glasses flying around somewhere around, and we can help find them. And we used the item finder to help us locate where it should be. And it looks like there's an item somewhere in this direction, so let's keep looking around here. And yep, if we just press A right over here, we found one black glasses. Let's go ahead and return to glasses. I dropped my glasses. Can you help me find them? Those glasses! May I see those uh, for a second? Hmm. These are black glasses. They're not what I'm looking for. Maybe my glasses aren't around here. And he just takes off. Uh, and uh, you, you can technically just pick up the black glasses and leave. But the whole point of the black glasses is that they're uh, another stat boosting, uh, move boosting item, I would say. Because if you hold them, you, uh, you're you going to get more power of it out of dark type moves. Might actually come in handy a little bit later, because we are going to get a Pokemon that uh, mainly is going to be using dark type moves for quite a while. So let's move on ahead. And here we are in the Verdap Town. So we got a little bit of ways to go, so uh, because we're going to return right to the Fiery Path, there's not too much to show off to that, so I'm going to actually cut back to once we get there. That being said, however, I actually want to cut back to this real quick, because I f actually just remembered one thing. Um, we did this a little while back, but we actually left Falco here for quite a bit. By level, your Falco has grown by 15! Wow! Okay, Falco, I don't even know what level is that now, so can we- Yes, can we take Falco back? He is now- le let's see what level he is. It's gonna be $1,600, that's not bad. I think that was like the last Pokemon battle we did. Not too bad, and we got Falco back. What? Is that- what level is he? Yeah. 26! He's actually the same level as, like, everybody else at the moment. We could technically just put this dude on the team, and he'd be, like, a seamless member. Um, just, like, welcome back to Taylor right there. But, uh, of course, we don't really need to use him, especially since we have Batman over here. But, I do see one thing. He does have a good amount of experience, but that's gonna be, like, just a little bit, uh, I'm just gonna do one quick thing, and I'm back. So I decided, since we're not using Falco, why not give this dude just a good send-off that he deserves. So let's give Falco the t a team member that I uh, considered using, but decided against it. Uh, one good send-off as evolving him into a Swallow. I figured since he only had a sing- oh, uh, he was really close to leveling up, uh, and he was already in the range. Might as well make him a Swallow. Look, and now Falco is a Swallow. Good for that dude. He's doing awesome with that. Uh, of course, he's just gonna look really cool on our PC, but definitely not too bad. Uh, of course, this is what a Swallow would look like if you ended up ever using one. Um, comparison, this is my Crobat. Uh, um, not too bad, uh, honestly, in comparison. Uh, I believe Swallow is, actually has slightly more attack than it, and it's just a little slower. It doesn't have as much defense. But of course, I'm, I haven't really been using Falco against too many Pokemon, so that uh, might actually get even a more of a leg up than, uh, than on that from Batman, even then, so good to keep in mind.